U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken on Friday said that there were deep concerns on different fronts in the Middle East that were shared during an annual summit meeting in Laos. Something that we're deeply concerned with, which is trying to prevent the conflict in Gaza that started with the horrific attacks of October 7 from spreading, going to other places, Blinken said at a news conference on the sidelines of the ASEAN summit. He said he had reassured others during the 10-member Association of Southeast Asian Nations meeting that the U.S. is intensely focused on preventing these conflicts from spreading. Blinken said it was also important that civilians are protected amid fighting in Lebanon and Gaza, adding that not enough humanitarian aid is reaching North Gaza and other areas. Blinken said that the U.S. is ready to support the Lebanese to assert themselves, as Israel is now at war with Hamas in Gaza and its ally Hezbollah in Lebanon, which began firing rockets at Israel on October 8, 2023. It's clear that the people of Lebanon have a strong interest in the state asserting itself and taking responsibility for the country and its future. The presidency has been vacant for two years now. And for the Lebanese people, having a head of state would be very important. But that's for the Lebanese to decide and no one else, Blinken said. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, let me start by thanking uh, And I think there's deep concern uh, across the region on a number of fronts, but primarily uh, something that we're deeply concerned with, which is trying to prevent the conflict in Gaza that started with the horrific um, attacks of October 7th uh, from spreading from going to uh, other places and other fronts. And one of the things that I uh, reassured many of our, our colleagues about was the intense focus of the United States, which has been the case going back a year, in doing just that, preventing these conflicts from, uh, from spreading. There's also obviously deep concern that we share about the plight of children, women and men in Gaza, who for now a year have been caught in a terrible crossfire of Hamas's instigation. And for us, this has been a constant area of emphasis, trying to make sure that they're getting the assistance that they desperately need. Uh, and we're intensely focused on that question now. Uh, and uh, I have real concern uh, about the inadequacy of the uh, assistance that's getting to them. Um, this is particularly true in the North, but not exclusively in the North. So we've been very directly engaged with Israel on the imperative of uh, addressing the humanitarian needs of uh, people uh, in Gaza. And when it comes to the law, I'll simply repeat what I've said all along. Uh, we will apply the law. I have a continuous obligation to ensure that assistance we're providing uh, is done in accordance with the law, whether it's the Leahy law, whether it's international humanitarian law, whether it's other things that we're responsible for. Uh, and I've also made clear, and we've made clear that that's an ongoing responsibility and one that I take very seriously. But it's clear that the people of Lebanon have a, an interest, a strong interest, in the state asserting itself and taking responsibility for the country uh, and its future. Uh, the presidency has been vacant for two years now. Uh, and for the Lebanese people, uh, having a, uh, a head of state would be very important. But that's for the Lebanese to decide and, uh, and no one else. Hurricane Milton is barreling into the Atlantic Ocean after plowing into Florida as a Category 3 storm. It pounded cities with ferocious winds and rains, whipped up a barrage of tornadoes and caused at least four deaths. It compounded the misery wrought by Helene. But it spared Tampa a direct hit. Several trees were downed in the downtown area. Parts of Orlando were flooded in the early morning hours. Rescue crews were seen suiting up to enter flood waters. The storm tracked to the south in the final hours and made landfall Wednesday night in Siesta Key, about 70 miles south of Tampa. 
The situation in the Tampa area was still a major emergency as St. Petersburg recorded over 16 inches of rain. According to poweroutage.us, more than 3.2 million homes and businesses were without electricity. The St. Lucie County Sheriff's Office said four people were killed in tornadoes that hit ahead of the storm.